hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind drop down list into a grid view control and here we got the final output the username email and the country and we have binded the drop down list control inside the grid view control see the country names if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Right now in this source page contains a simple HTML5 code with some HTML header tags H1, H2, 1 horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I am adding a grid view control, create a toolbox. I am expanding the data folder. I am adding grid view control. Before binding the table into this grid view control, let's open the SQL Server database. We'll check the table and the column names. I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases. Sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one. The tables folder. For this demo purpose, I'm using two tables. The user res table, let's browse that select top thousand rows and this table I want to bind into the grid view control for the demo purpose I'm binding the columns only username and email ID after that I will add a drop down list control into the grid view control I will add this country table into the drop down list control let's browse the table and this country table I want to bind into a drop down list control inside the grid view control. Let's start the coding part. Switch to the design mode. Notice when I mouse over on a grid view control, there is a small button on the top. Click that one, which is a grid view task. Click that one. Choose data source, new data source. I'm choosing the type of the data source is the SQL database and the ID is the SQL data source one. Click OK. New connection. The server name is user. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database test connection ok ok click next now this time I'm selecting the table the user reg as I told I'm only selecting the columns username and the email ID only these two columns I want to bind into this grid view control next test query and here we got the results in a preview click finish After I binding the columns username and email, now I am adding a new column into this grid view control for the drop down list. Add new column and the field type I am selecting template field and the header text is country. Click OK and notice the country column is added to the grid view control. Now we will add the drop down list control inside this grid view control. Switch to the source mode. Inside this template field, I am adding the item template. Now inside this item template, I am adding the drop down list control. Go to toolbox. I am expanding the standard folder drop down list control now let's check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser google chrome and here we got the output on the browser the username email and the country the username and email we already binded the table now the next one is we need to bind the country table into this drop down list control
Let's switch back to the ASP.NET. We'll finish the rest of the code. And stop debugging. Let's put this in a center tag. To bind the table into a drop down list control, inside a grid view control, we need to create a grid view event row data bound. Switch to the design mode, highlight the grid view, go to properties, notice the fourth one is the events, click that one. In the data section, the last one is a row data bound, enter that one. And here we got the grid view row data bound event is added to the code behind. Before writing the coding part in this, let's add the namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration if e dot row dot row type is equals to data control row type dot data row now let's add the connection string in this event string main connection configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes now between these double quotes I am adding my connection string name go to solution explorer open the web.config file notice here the sample db connection string which is automatically added when we are creating that data source connection string to the grid view control so copy this one and add here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection I have created an object for the sql connection class which takes the parameter of the main con sql con dot open method I'm creating a variable drop down is equals to the control I'm looking in a grid view control is a drop down list so I'm adding the drop down list e dot row dot find control the string ID the control ID of the drop down list is drop down list one I'm adding between the double quotes the drop down list control ID string SQL query and here the SQL query is a select statement select the column name is the country name copy this one I'm pasting here from the table name is dbo.country paste here SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query command text and the second one is the and the second object is a connection string variable this one SQL SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method DT let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method now I'm adding the data source to the drop down list control instead of adding the drop down list ID 
we have to add the drop down list variable dot data source is equals to dt drop down dot data text field which is a country name drop down dot data value field is also the country name I'm adding after that I'm binding the drop down list control data bind method now the last one after binding the drop down list I need to add the country name column values into this drop down list control drop down dot items dot insert which takes two parameters one is the integer type which is index 0 new list item the first string is a text value select country comma and the second one is a value 0 that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output the username email and the country and we have binded the drop down list control inside the grid view control see the country names that's it